see you all again I've been away from YouTube for about three years so this video is gonna be raw as shit <laughs> not a lot of editing not a lot of uh, putting stuff together I'm just trying to get my feet back into the water figure out what this show is gonna be all about I gotta say I missed it man when, when I left YouTube about three years ago you know I made a couple videos here and there in between but when I left it was mostly because I was burnt out wasn't fun anymore and I just didn't want to do it anymore so uh, in the meantime I've been back on Facebook a lot you know and I've been posting videos there uh, here and there doing mods and some BSWS stuff but I'm trying to make this show a little bit different what it's gonna be I still don't know it's still very young so uh, you're gonna be seeing clips in this episode they're probably going to be short clips. They're going to be from all over the place. Uh, we're going to go hunting for a new camera. That will probably be episode two or three. I have no idea when I'm going to put the episodes out. I just want to do it at my own pace. I don't want to make any kind of schedule because then it just, I'll get burnt out again. I don't want to do it. So, um, you know, I'll try to shoot for maybe once a month or something, but I don't know. So uh, the new show, I'm going to be calling it Lasting Dreams. I don't know. I kind of like that. I've been calling that in uh, my videos. I've been tagging my videos like that on uh, Facebook for a while. So any of you guys are in the groups that I'm in, you know, if you just hashtag Classic Dreams, you'll see all my videos that I've been putting there. A lot of the stuff that I've been doing there, I might bring back to the YouTube. So uh, different audience. So it might be, you know, some repetitive stuff. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I want to grow the channel with you guys and I don't care about ads or you know making money off the channel or anything like that I don't care about that I just want to have fun with you guys and you know this is a hobby that I love a lot of you love it with me and I want to keep it that way keep it fun and crisp and I don't want to make it about money in any way or you know, and I'm not bashing anybody that does that I'm just saying that's not what this channel is about right so um I've already shot a bunch of footage that I've been holding for this, so like I said, it's going to be all over the place. I've been planning on doing this now, coming back for about, eh, I'm going to say about two months. So I don't want to make the videos too long. I'm already getting really long-winded right now, so, you know, just sit back, relax, let's have fun together, and I'll talk to you later. Peace. So you're really raw. I got to even get up and shut off the camera. So this is the camera I'll be using in the first two, maybe three episodes. Um, it's a really shitty camera. By the way, if you don't like swearing, you probably won't like my videos because I swear a lot. But anyways, it's a really shitty camera. It's uh, it's about 10 years old, maybe more. Uh, it's a Sony Cybershot 8.1 megapixel. This is what I use to film all my BSWS videos. I debated on using this or using a my camera off of my phone. But I, I'm going to go with this because it's easier to um, edit video. So I'm going to go with this. But just because you got a shitty camera or you're shooting from your phone doesn't mean your pictures can't look nice. So... I plan on going Black Friday, shopping for a new camera. I'm going to fold that into one of the episodes. But for now, I'm going to show you how to use these cameras or your phone and make your picture still look nice or crisp. Um, one big deal, get a tripod. So tripods are a must. They really are. Now, this particular tripod came with a light tent that I purchased off of eBay years ago. But you don't always have to have a, you know, traditional tripod. You know, you can just... I just set my phone in here to keep it stable. You, know, you can set it either way. So something like that. And this is just, it's a table that came with a Grandpa Munster figure, and then I put it up on a box. You know, you, however you can hold your stuff together is fine, you know, so just don't cover the lens, obviously. This is awesome if you're going to shoot with your phone. This is a must-get. So uh, Creative Solutions, or Creative Standard, this is like a wise product. In fact, I have a box right here. So, um, you know, it's a metal cable, and it's bendable. It's all bendable, the whole thing. It will charge your phone, you can plug it in to upload pictures to your computer, all that, and it holds it up really nice, so there's some pics on the box of it holding your phone. It will hold it long way, like how I have it here, but it's a pain in the ass, it kind of falls over a little bit, so 
Real easy plug-in though. Let's just show the back of that really quick. And uh, you know, so you can use just about anything to keep yourself stable and steady. That's what you really want to look for. What we got going on here is I got an extra piece of foam left over that I was going to use to make a dial. And I got lazy, so instead of making a dial, I'm just going to make a backdrop with it. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll use a uh, something I printed from the computer or a computer backdrop or just a piece of construction paper for like a simple Sunday type of shot and stuff like that. But I want to make like a stormy night, so I put together a shot recently uh, of Obi-Wan versus uh, Django Fett from like Attack of the Clones. And I needed like a stormy backdrop, so I figured... I'm just gonna make one rather than use a computer screen and stuff. So, <clears throat> really simple. It's October here in uh, Florida, so it's a beautiful day out. I'm outside, my dog's chilling, Izzy. And uh, I just got a piece of the blue foam. You know, it's the thin, thin foam, you know. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start this off pretty easy. I'm just gonna spray paint the whole thing white and just do it far enough away that it's uh, not gonna melt the foam. And then I got black, white, more white, and then I mix these two together to make my own gray. And this is like water. I poured a bunch of water into the black, what I had left. So it's gonna be super watery, this paint. So I'm just gonna make different layers on it. Then I plan on coming back with the joint compound to make it raised up in certain spots, like it's clouds, and then I'll paint it again. So it's gonna be like three or four layers worth of stuff. So um, I'll try to set up the camera, try to get it at like this angle and I'll just paint it. It'll probably be a sped up video. So, so sorry there's no middle to the video because stupid me, I deleted it while I was editing. So this is actually my second time shooting the, the end result of this. But anyways, it's pretty simple. I mean, I'm gonna use this backdrop to death. Usually when I find a backdrop I like, I use it over and over and over again until I get sick of it then I move on to something else. So you kind of see it's raised. I don't know if you can tell or not. It's raised in certain spots. You know, that's just a spackle with more paint laid over the top. So just kept going you know and the cheapest paint you can find is easy just kept going over and over it again and uh you know try to get like it looks like raindrops coming out the bottom you know and then you can see that bottle's about the size of a six inch figure so i took this rag to wipe away the excess paint pretty simple you know use the big brush and i had a cup of water out here with me too and i would dunk you know have some of the paint in there dunk it in the water and then just kind of splash it up against the backdrop make like raindrops and stuff like that i don't know pretty simple i think it's going to be pretty effective so look out for the pics all right let's end the episode on this display this is the thing i like to do the most just a really simplified display I mean, this took me all 10 minutes minus the prep work for everything that i had to make so you know i made the backdrop it took about an hour with dry time and everything all the rest of the stuff in here is tamashi effects had to do the cutout that's probably like 10 minutes prep time so if you add it all together to display, it ain't take me any more than an hour and a half. Pretty simple, you know, and that's what I like to do. Right now I don't have my lights on. Let's go ahead and turn those on. And I got my lights set up that all I gotta do is hit one button and they all come on. And I mess with them afterwards. Turning the lights on and off and getting different effect. You know, and I don't like that glare right there, so I'll have to mess with it so I can get rid of that glare. And that does it right there. I'll do a little bit more tweaking before I take the picture, but let me just show you how simple this display really is. It's just the uh, Tamashi effects layered, you know, don't always stand those straight up like these explosion effects and everything, you know, sometimes you can turn them on their side and get a different look at them. So that's all I got. I got those layered up all over the place. I got the select juggernaut helmet on there. So pretty simple, being held on with some wax. The cutouts being held up with wax is along with this piece of the effect right there. And yeah, just pretty simple. I got some light shining through the bottom. I got some lights up top, shining on the backdrop. Another light shining at Juggernaut, red one. And I got these painter can lights with filter on them. And the filter is actually toilet paper wrapper so see I, I stay pretty cheap with everything then I got this in my stand my camera and some polyester right here that works way better than uh, cotton for smoke effects you just pull it apart a lot easier I don't like using a lot of this just a little bit to highlight stuff here and there the cut
cutout is clean, it's contained, it's trimmed. You know, for you guys about to enter the World Championship Tournament, you gotta get these little skills down. You know? These are the things that make or break a display. So, imposing is the number one. That's probably what I spent the most time, besides prep work, on this display was on the post. So, I'll show the display. I filmed it while I was putting it together. I'll speed it up and show it, you know, probably right now. And then I will talk to you guys later. Um, it feels good to be back. You know, I, I'd love to hear feedback from you guys. Give me a little, you know, what you'd like to see. I don't always want to do behind the scenes stuff, but I'm not quite sure what else I'm going to do yet. So give me some feedback, you know, let's keep it interactive, the whole show. So it's going to be a chameleon show. It's going to be constantly changing. Whatever you guys want to see, I want to do it and just keep it fresh and keep it uh, light and fun. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.